Raymond. That's you, isn't it? <laughs> the BSAA. A little too late. What is the FBC doing here? <laughs> answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. It's... You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to... Give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond, stop right there! Nothing will change unless you get your hands dirty. So the FBC is on this ship too. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea. Ah! Also, more handprints. That's one I got. I was like, there's no ah. way they're not gonna hide one on the fucking front of the <laughs> ship. <laughs> it's so obvious. Now, I gotta warn you viewers, this is kind of a big video. Because this is when the game starts getting open-ended. Can you imagine if a video game actually gave you, like, the option to, you know, look around and do stuff yourself? Yeah. What a novel concept. Back when video games taught you how to play their game. I'm not, I'm not gonna use, uh... Resident Evil is an example of, like, showing you how to play well, because the tutorials are terrible. <laughs> the Resident Evil style of teaching you how to play games. Expanded tutorials. Yeah, zombies are a little bit weaker now, since we're not in the dodge tutorial. Also, I just phased through that wall, holy shit. Only with the power of the 3DS. Yes, the 3DS on the PC. Now they don't tell you this, but the main focus of this chapter chapter is to just find Parker. You mean? But Raven. there's just such Raymond, right? Oh God, <laughs> I'm so bad with names. Don't worry, I'll make sure that, uh, everyone is on course. Yeah. The problem with this chapter, though, is that it's really fucking big. As we'll see in a minute, the air- the entire boat just opens up to us. I was really hoping that secret was, like, somebody had shotgun shells on a deer's horn. I was really disappointed. <laughs> Could you just imagine that during the zombie apocalypse, some dude's just like, gotta, gotta hide these bullets! We should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. Ah, uh, a crest-shaped key. Yes, the only one in the game. Also, who wants to learn about boats? I want to learn about boats. I don't. This boat could hold 3,300 3, people. The golden age of cruise ships. <laughs> Not unlike the dark age of cruise ships when they were just like dinghies. I wonder if there's a guy that like goes crazy over the dark age of cruise ships. I bet the dark age of cruise ships did this. This is the Dark Age of Cruise Ships Zombies. I've been playing too much uh, Ace Attorney 5. <laughs> and eventually that will really, really date this video. <laughs> when Ace Attorney 10 is out. Yes. I gotta say that Dark Age of Law is probably the funniest thing I've seen in Capcom. Well. Also, if it wasn't obvious enough already, I gotta like totally figure it out, but this guy's dead. Ew. That's disgusting. Pretty gross. Here's a pretty nifty thing though. If you take the scanner to him. <laughs> you gotta you gotta put your hand in there. 
very that dude disemboweled himself to hide three shotgun shells. Maybe he like swallowed them and he hoped that they'd uh, go off and kill what was hovering. So was he, uh, the like the alien chest buster in his chest. <laughs> this will kill the zombie parasite. But if you haven't figured it out already, we're finally gonna get the shotgun. Thankfully, we have the uh, the crest shaped key, so we can use that to smash the glass where the shotgun was. How do you know? <laughs> I used to work with him. Let's leave it at that. We used to be work buddies because he was kind of a downer. He kept talking about the dark age of zombie apocalypse and some weird shit. Ah yes, we can increase our ammo. I don't know why we need a tutorial for that. Oh yeah, I also figured out what the consumables thing is. It doesn't just count medicine, it counts grenades. Oh, okay. I thought you had to... Don't you have to go to a weapon uh, storage crate to use the upgrade parts? Or am I remembering wrong? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but and they're listed in there as just upgrade parts. They're not specified or anything. You can't just like open up the suitcase and be like, Oh man! These are X modifiers. Uh. Also, I just now noticed that dude's uh, giant arm is has like suction cups from an octopus. That's really weird. Zombie octopuses confirmed. Yes. Wait, that might actually happen in this game. I don't remember. Next Resident Evil Revelations, we're just gonna have actual octopus zombies, not this modified crap. I'm, I'm hoping Resident Evil Revelations actually, like, is stupider, like, it, it, like it's on a plane and it's all bird zombies. <laughs> oh god, that'd be awful. I'm, I'm entirely fine with fish zombies, bird zombies, nah, nah, dog. I think it'd be a good idea. Also, about the flame, the frame rate plummeted there. Yeah, this the PC version has a problem in that when you're loading areas, you're loading the entire map, so the game is just like, oh fuck, give me a second. Yeah, see, the 3DS did all the loading in the elevators, and in the uh, like like Mass Effect, I guess, and in the uh, that room later. <laughs> that room later. Yeah, we're gonna be you, seeing you a know lot which one I'm later. talking about. <sighs> fuck. Now, my first playthrough, I never actually went to this room, so I didn't know about this log. Huh. These monsters have bones like an old woman. That's not important. Uh-oh. But yeah, I never saw this room in my first playthrough, so I never knew about the following secrets. If I could just, you know... What am I doing? There we go. Ah, uh, illegal custom parts. What are the difference between these and regular custom parts, I mean? Illegal parts are cooler. Like, they're not dumb, boring stuff like fire rate or damage. They have really neat stuff. I forget what this one is, though, but we'll see it in a minute. I also find it weird that people were smuggling illegal gun parts on a cruise ship. What the hell? Um, there's a lot of stupid stuff on this cruise ship. Yeah. <laughs> Keep trying to, like, hope that these paintings have something to examine, but they don't. Well, I mean, you still haven't even opened the, uh, the, uh, safe behind the other one, so, like, you know. Yeah. Priorities. I got the Wyndham. Also, that shotgun had one shell in it. Who would keep a loaded oh, shotgun oh. shelled? Well, see, what he did was he shot himself in the face. And then... And then hung the gun? Yeah, for safety's sake, you know.
If you haven't realized it by now, we're doing a lot of backtracking. Cause backtracking in a Resident Evil game? Yeah. It's profound, isn't it? I thought they were just like giant hallways. Could have fooled me with five. Now here's the big payoff. Also, we got a new zombie. You know what this guy does? Fucking shoots you with soul blades? No, he shoots you with pelvises, and I took a hit to the face with one. I forgot how stupid some of the designs were in this. I thought that one was kind of cool. Like, it's so obvious that it shoots stuff at you, but it's really malformed. Either that I just really like the fact that it shoots pelvises at you. It's so fucking dumb. Did you just, uh, knife that Yeah, I was trying- I didn't actually do it, but I was trying to, because there's an achievement for knifing a bullet out of the air. But there's no bullets in this game, so uh -huh. it's obviously related to Pelvis Guy. And I believe uh, okay. this is where I get the handprint that I missed. No, nope, that's just an item. That's not it. Oh, there you that's go. That's bullets. I don't think- What asshole, like- just puts his hand over this turkey. I don't know. I think it's just a kid because of how small that turkey is. How odd that we are recording this after th after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. <laughs> Holy crap, I didn't even realize that. Also, we're gonna figure out what these gun parts it's are. Not, it's not really that odd. Uh, excellent. Sure is nice not having to deal with zombies in this area now that I got guns when I needed them. Big guns. Custom parts. Damage two. That's the illegal part. Burst one. Huh. Fires two bullets. When you said they are, they tend to get more like fun or whatever. I was hoping you meant like you could light your gun on fire or something. Nah. This basically turns your gun into an SMG. And it eats through bullets, but man, it's fantastic. I guess that's alright. Though I will admit, burning gun chucks would be fantastic. Just like, put two guns together with a piece of string and then gun kata your way across the area on fire. <laughs> I think- I think Leon does that it's in It's like six. sword ch chucks, but like ten times as stupid and... <laughs> thousand times was awesome. Yeah, it's perfect for Resident Evil 6. As I was trying to say before, I actually got stuck here because I thought this was the door you had to progress through. Fuck you, you fool. But if you examine this without a key, it'll tell you that you need the helm key. <laughs> so this was the door that Big Head was talking about. We're only gonna see this loading screen once, but man... If you play the game, you're gonna be seeing it a lot more. Oh, you're gonna like edit this out? Of course I'm gonna edit out. This is like 20 seconds of waiting for fucking nothing. <laughs> but it's it's part of the experience. I like this part of the experience when you just kinda walk into a grand hall. This is great. Yeah. Now this is what I call a cruise ship. It's like an opera house in here. So is this emergency communication room? Now, as I mentioned before, this game is open world, so people have a tendency of getting lost. I actually went this way on my first run as well, but I figured I might as well go again because there's a really good item up here. If I would ever, you know, stop scanning. I didn't think I went up here until, like, you have to go up here. Wait, you have to go up here? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Fuck. Yeah, I feel like a thing later. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Took me a minute. I probably should have cut this out, but I'm really confused as to what I'm missing until I realize I have a mini map. Cool. Yeah, we have like three maps in this game. I never use them. Now, have you been in he this area in the 3DS version, Jake? 
Um, I'm not sure, actually. I think You'll so. recognize it in a minute, but there is a distinct difference in this level that you will not notice. Oh no, yeah, I was here once. Do those look familiar? No. Yeah, this is a new enemy exclusive to the PC version. Uh-uh. They're only in like three points of the area. What's it do? Supposedly they come down now, and- Now I'm curious. <laughs> Supposedly they come down and just kind of like try to strangle you and hang you. But they only appear in three parts of the game and I never ran into them the first run. Hopefully I won't be as uh, oh. <laughs> dense this run. But yeah, they are called wall blisters. I actually don't even remember what the point of this room was, other than like it looked kind of creepy. With the big biomass shit. Welcome to the biomass. Did GLaDOS sent- no, not GLaDOS, Shodan sent you. Wow. Don't worry, you already ruined the joke. There is actually a log that we're coming up on that I missed before, but first... Who's up for goofy-ass puzzles? Yay! This one actually fucked with me the first time I did it. Cause I was just like, oh yeah, I could get the hang of those puzzles. Here, have six nodes! Puzzles aren't hard though. They just require a lot of movement. It's taking you a while, so. Well, yeah. It takes it takes time for the gears to wind. I gotta put the square block in the round peg by force. There's something about that card. Oh, what's this? Handprint on the... Oh, what is that? Fuse box. At least I think that's a fuse box. Yeah. Now we got a sniper rifle. Now this is the context for this specific room that has no reason for existing except for flavor. Barnacles. Huh. Hey, I found some barnacles in the pool. This isn't weird. I'm gonna keep him as a pet. I thought for a minute that we're gonna call that new type of enemy barnacles, and I was like, wait a minute. That, that reminds me of another game. <laughs> oh, I'm drawing a blank here. What other game? Half-Life. Oh yeah, that's right. That would have been a little Pretty cheeky. Good. So this puzzle has one reason for existing, but we can't do it yet. Filtration's gonna take a while. Huh. Should've known. I'll come back later. Shouldn't Jill have said that line? Probably. So wait, Parker can't trigger the uh, the enemy then. Okay. Good to see. Um, they actually trigger not in this chapter for reasons. Fade to black. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's my computer or what, but man, those uh, those rooms just kind of like tank my system for a second. Well, it's it's loading like the whole area. Yeah, and this area is fucking huge. So let's actually continue the big dumb stupid plot with our fancy new shotgun and sniper rifle. We're totally prepared for this fight. Oh, uh, if this wasn't the puzzle I'm thinking of, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could. I'm actually a huge fan of the stuff that's coming up right now, but apparently a lot of my friends that play this game did not like it. <laughs> it was just hard. So obviously I didn't like it. Hard games. Hard games are hard! So what's the better way to compliment a two-shot burst than making us shoot faster? Oh, yeah. Could you imagine how insane this handgun's gonna be? I can't, because we're not gonna use it after this video. He 
these guys put gun parts in a museum? Well, they're very good gun parts. I guess. By gun part Da Vinci. Gun part Da Vinci, who would that be? Heckler and Kosh? Probably. You have no idea who they are, do you? Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just saying words, basically. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm not good with guns. Right, here's something I hope you all read, because this is actually plot sensitive. I don't think I did. I'm guessing you wandered around for like an hour and just stumbled upon the area. Probably. Your friendly neighborhood communications officer. Deck is next to the hall. Let's go. You aren't the Batman communications officer. What are you trying to do? Or Spider-Man, that's his catchphrase, shit. Now, I believe I kind of screw the pooch here. Yep. I went the wrong way. So let's, uh, let's save us ten minutes and just cut to black. Good to see you just, uh, teleported back to where you were. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they totally wouldn't just, you know, let me go backwards, because that'd be clever. Anyways, enough about my shortcomings. Let's see the actual good parts of the video game. I'm trying to figure out what other, like, game did doors similar to this, where it's just, like, wait in a room and depressurize. He got hit in the face with a pelvis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the uh, the sniper rifle really is OP. Yeah, it's basically your charged mega buster. There's monsters hiding me behind every corner. And we have yet to find one survivor. Survivors in a Resident Evil game? How profound! Hey, maybe they won't die a horrible death. Maybe. If they're blonde, they're definitely gonna die a horrible death. Let's give her sniper rifle a long magazine, because I want a lot of bullets in my super cannon. Oh yeah, um... You haven't played any Resident Evil other than this, but I'm gonna say this right now, this boss graduates, graduates from the Resident Evil 5 design of bosses, which you'll see in a minute. What, being fucking hard? Not hard, but you'll see. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This is like the only boss in the whole game I actually found difficult. Yeah, everybody says that, but I had a fun time with this boss. Huh. See that red barrel? Yes. Well, ignore that for now. I'm gonna say this, don't punch that lock. Because I did that when I first played this game. 
Yeah, I think I did too. <laughs> and that's what happens. Holy crap. Say hello to the Skag Dead. He needs a hug. See, the hard part about this fight is that you have to fight, like, every other zombie at the same time. Yeah, I have to admit, that is kind of fucking dumb. The Skag Dead itself is not a threat, it's everything else that comes with it. But I actually really yeah. like this boss, because it's that weird mix of really fucking creepy dialogue with a gigantic splatterhouse menace. <laughs> I also like its, uh, its unique killing you oh, animation. You, I never get hit by that, I really should. It looks very cool. The only problem I have with this boss fight is that it's genuinely creepy, but I fucking lose my shit every single time that it says I need a hug. <laughs> and as I mentioned from RE boss's sign, this is what I mean. Every boss in RE5 has you shoot a red barrel to stun a boss, then you melee it. This boss is the only thing that does that. <laughs> but I actually still like this boss. It's just really fucking cool. I wonder how much of the team from uh, RE5 is, like, worked on Resident Evil Revelations. That's a good question, I don't know. Ow. So the neat thing about this is uh, that you have a bunch of areas where you could get cornered. But in reality, you can't. Because you think, oh man, this is a terrible place to fight a giant fucking zombie, right? Nope, drop down. Man, that shotgun has a lot of kickback. And unfortunately, the only downside to this boss fight, aside from uh, I need hugs, is that it's really tenacious. You'll fight Skag Deads again later, but they're nowhere near as tough as this one. Yeah. Well, even like bosses, I don't think any other boss like has this much health. It, they really don't. To the point that they can take like a hundred sniper rifle hits to the face. And a couple of grenades, and a couple propane tanks, and a several kicks to the chin. This boss is tough. Oh yeah, he also has bear traps. Yeah, those got me a couple of times. Yeah, they didn't. But you can uh, you can shoot them. Really? Yeah, well, you can shoot them and they uh, stop working. Holy shit! I didn't know that. Also, Skag Dead is vulnerable to the BOW decoy. I love the whirring on his uh chainsaw. Yeah, that's a little weird. His bone saw. I mean, he's supposed to be a bio-weapon. <laughs> Does he have a chainsaw engine on him? <laughs> that wars. Or well, he is a bio-weapon. What's, what's more of a weapon yeah, than a chainsaw? Yeah, but how does a bio-weapon have mechanical worrying? <laughs> the power of the Umbrella Corporation, or uh, Veltro, or whatever. Maybe. Also, what the hell did I do? It's all the same shit. It's just another... It's just another zombie apocalypse company, because the Resident Evil verse seems to have a plethora of those. Also, look at Parker being useful. Yay. I couldn't scan this guy, fuck. If I remember right, the bosses give you, like, a ton of, uh, shit anyway. Yeah. Like, you can scan bosses multiple times, I just didn't scan this boss multiple times because you get also get a lot of herbs during the fight. Is that the key to the emergency communication room? Yeah. Leave this I think the worst part about this is when I streamed this blind for the first time, I died after the boss fight. So I had to do the entire thing all over <laughs> again. It was miserable.
And I think that's everything. Good job, Jill. You killed a guy that just wanted a hug. Aww. That's all he wanted. He wanted to hug you with his chainsaw blade. Now here's something that kind of confuses me. What? How the fuck were you supposed to lure him to that gas canister? Um, it's probably supposed to be like if you get trapped in there or something. It's a, you know, yeah. final solution sort of thing. Maybe. Now here's the cool thing. We have a story for our skag dead fellow. What a poor fellow. He wishes he had someone to talk to. Yeah, uh -huh. every Resident Evil has a log like this where it chronicles somebody being turned into a zombie. And I particularly like this one. I think this and 4 Itchy Tasty is probably the best one. Well, good job, Jill. You did it and got another key. Now what? Wait, did wait. This key has a life bo uh, boy symbol on it. Maybe it goes to the life boy shaped hole. Maybe. Also, who makes a key shaped like a life buoy? Call it a buoy. What do you call it? A boy. It's it's buoy. Cultural shock. It's it's boy, you know, buoyant. No, buoyant. Like, wait. <laughs> I will argue this at the end of time. <laughs> well, it's not the first time Americans have been wrong about pronunciation and spelling, so. I thought we could agree on something. I mean, we're both countries based on English Like all, all those green herbs. Herbs. No, I say herbs. I was making fun of you who says <laughs> herbs. Oh, man. Fucks. Ah, the magic of post-processing, when I can make a mistake and no one can tell. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, wow, this floor looks amazingly similar. I know, right? <laughs> That, that is weird though, the, like, the thing that's right after the boss, with the key that you get right after the boss, is like the wrong way to go. Go figure. Well, the idea is you're supposed to go to the communications room, but you have the key to it. But then they mislead you with that. It's a little silly. Also, screw that herb. I don't need it. You will live to regret this. Nah, it's fine. Nothing will totally go wrong. I hope the equipment in that room will work. Don't jinx us now. Your bad predictions tend to come true. Parker, with the power of the callback. So that's film school 101. Yes. Wait, I'm, I'm sure it's also somewhere in game design. That sounds really familiar. I always love how the camera just kind of, you know, pans out to show you the splendor of the giant gold room with this huge clock. Well, some arsehole spent a lot of time, like, modeling that and texturing it, so they yeah. really want to show it off. We have to see this entire room. Now enjoy this 20 I'm minute. sure it was supposed to be like a, you know, look at the power of the 3DS, but, you know, uh, Didn't exactly on the PC, work. it's not all that. Magnificent. Freeman. Looks like we both were too late. What are you talking about? Huh. Ignorant creatures who do not yet know of us. The time both of you. Look. Thou wilt that I renew. Desperate grief, it wrings my heart already. Little masked friend. Dare I speak of it? But if 
my words be seed that may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know, speaking and weeping shalt thou see together. I know not who thou art, nor by what mode thou hast come down here. The world is in our hands. This is the tea of this virus, and we are equipped to infect one fifth of the Earth's waters. Coin and Mock Airport. Look for something linked to this ship, O'Brien. Yes, I read you. I'll send Quint and Keith. What? You two, get ready to move. Uh, I hate snow. <laughs> snow hates you. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. finding a needle in a haystack. No kidding. But that still doesn't solve our problem. Hey, are you even listening? We'll find you, Jill. I promise. The ghosts of Vel... I keep trying to say Velcro. Fuck. Velcro. My aim is shit because there are so many zombies. Oh god, finally we're done with that 40 minutes of hell. I know, right? I think this is the longest chapter out of them all. The rest are just like 20 minute things. The next one's pretty long, I think. Hmm, possibly. Or at least it took me a while. There's, there's a lot of stuff to find. Hmm, yeah. Next time, we'll see what Walter White's cooking up as he tries to get out of debt by zombie apocalypse. Breaking Bad joke, and goodbye. Later. I haven't seen Breaking Bad. Neither have I, oops. <laughs>